Hello, this is Denton Yoder, instructor for BSC 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering CAD class. Uh, in today's lesson, we're going to look at making a new civil 3D template. Uh, we'll talk about getting data from other people's drawings into our drawings so we can use them. And we'll also do the map query tools, which will allow you to change the coordinate system on a drawing uh, and get data into your drawing. Okay, starting off, I started AutoCAD with the Imperial blue button. Uh, so I'm in the default template, which has tons of layers preset, but it does not have a layout that I want. So I'm going to do a control two to bring up the design center um, tool to steal a D size drawing from a different drawing. Um, I can clean that up. I don't need the tool anymore. I can clean that up by deleting the M views that I am not using yet. Um, delete the layouts I don't need anymore. Yes. I also typically like to set up a style of text. Um, I'll go back to model space, ST for style for text. I like to make a standard that uses Romans. One's already there, so I'm great. I'm going to set it as current, close, save as, switch myself to a drawing template. Uh, and so now I have a civil template. I'm going to call it Denton Civil Template. Maybe even spell it right. Okay, save. So now when I start up AutoCAD, Uh, if I just do a new drawing, I'm going to get a default template. But if I do the file new, I can choose my civil template. And I will be in a drawing that has all the layers and building blocks I need, like the point label style settings. Uh, so I have the tools I need, plus I have my D size layout, and I never have to draw one again. Um, but the problem is somebody gave me a drawing um, that I want to open up and use. So I can just say file open, uh, cancel, open. Okay, let's go to the desktop. I have the old class lab five, I think it was D6 drawing. This drawing if I look at the point label styles, does not have the tools I need to work. So it fails that way. It also has way more layers than I really need. It does have a north arrow, it has a graphic scale, it's got a bunch of sheet notes. Um, it's got contours, it's got spot elevations, it has grid lines, it has streets, buildings, looks like it has some water or sewer lines in it, sewer lines, um, more data than I really need. And it's not gonna work for me in a civil drawing, so I'm gonna just close that. If I am in just a blank new drawing, one tool I can do is an insert. I for insert will let me bring other data into my drawing. So I could insert and browse to that old class lab five, grab that drawing. I would want to have it automatically go to zero, zero, scale of one, angle zero, and I would want it to come in exploded. If I do this, okay, and zoom extents, I have the other drawing and I have all of its layers, but I also have the new layers in Civil, and I should have my point label styles because they came from my template. I'm in a I'm in a new drawing that was created using my template, and I inserted the other work into my drawing. The problems with this method are I get too much info maybe I only needed two or three layers. 
Um, maybe I didn't need the whole thing. The other thing that can be a problem is maybe I want to transform the coordinates. Like maybe the data I'm giving it is in a metric format, or maybe the data I'm given is in a NAD27 format. So uh, another way of doing it is the map query. I'm going to just close this out, discard changes, and I'm going to start another new drawing, file new, using my new template. Okay, so I'm in a new drawing. There's nothing really in here except all my settings are in here. What I want to do is use the map tools to just bring three layers from that other drawing into my drawing. Um, if I want to change coordinates, the key thing is number one, the original drawing has to have its coordinate system set. So you would want to go into the original drawing and set its coordinate system. And then the destination drawing, which is my blank drawing, needs to have the coordinate set. So in my blank drawing that I'm in right now, if I go into settings and I go right click on my drawing and edit my drawing settings, there's a units section with a zone datum and projection setting, which I can scroll down to USA Virginia and then I have available coordinate systems defined inside the system, which I'm going to use a NAD83 south zone feet, which I happen to know that NAD83 south zone feet is what most of the engineering firms in southwest Virginia and the municipalities are using. So this will make it match what was there. Now, I'll stress because on the midterm, people mess this up. If I give you a metric drawing, you can use the same tool to query it into a new NAD83 drawing. You just need to open the original and verify that it's set to metric or set it to metric and what zone it's in. Save that drawing before you try querying it in here. Okay, so got an original drawing. I'm gonna query it into this drawing, which is NAD83. Uh, how to do it. The map has a define, a drawing define map query function. It's the old way of doing it. The more modern way is a map W space, map W space on, and I get another task pane. I can drag it out into the screen and then make it bigger. And it has four sections. It's got a display management, a map explorer, a map book and a survey, I'm going to use the map explorer. The map explorer will let me see what my current drawing is, have attached drawings and define queries. Now, if I take um, and drag my D6 drawing into that map explorer window, it will attach the drawing. Then I can right click on my current query and define a new query. And what I want to do, uh, you can intersect these, but really all I need is a property query. You can intersect it with a location, but that's getting more complicated. Let's just stick with a property. And it says, what layer do you want? Excuse me, what property do you want? And you can select any property you want. The, the easiest one I've found is layer. So I want a property, a layer. And when I hit the values button, it shows me the layers that were in the other drawing. So the D6 drawing has these layers and the ones I'm interested in are spot. If you hold down control, you can click multiple layers, I want spot, C spot, C topo, C topo two. Uh, if you want the tree line, well, why not? Let's grab the tree line too, C tree. So I grabbed four layers. I do an okay. It puts them in the query tool and I want to draw this query. When I hit execute, 
Um, if you don't hit draw, it'll just give you a preview or a report. We want it to draw it. Draw, execute query. The computer says 4, 000, or 2,000 objects queried. We no longer want anything in the old drawing and we can right click on it and detach. I'm done with that tool. Zoom extents. And I have all this data queried into my drawing. Just for cuteness, I need more toolbars. Uh, AutoCAD, I want the view toolbar. But I like it over on the right. Okay. Yeah, move that back over to the left. Okay, if I look at this at an odd angle, you'll notice the map um, trees aren't at the right place. If I use 3D navigation, I like it on the right as well. 3D navigation, I can see that a couple things are on the floor and a couple things are up in 3D. Um, another thing I notice is I can't really see these spot elevations. Oh yeah, I do. There they are. They look visible. Uh, what is this? I saw some white down here. Ooh, bad spot elevation. If I look at this spot elevation and go to properties, I just picked it, went to properties. This is a block and its position has a X and Y coordinate, but its elevation is zero. I'm going to put 20, 28, point seven enter and that X just jumped up in the air the text itself I can do the same thing it uh, has an X Y and a Z position should be 20 28 point seven that should put it up on the map I didn't notice any others up oh, there's one more I've got a second one 2065 and escape grab the text 2065 enter escape close properties okay so there were two bad pieces of data in there I can go back to top view and I'm ready to make a map so what I've done is I could insert data, but a better way to do that is a map query. Map query will also let me transform coordinate systems. So I can have my source set to one coordinate system, my destination set to a different coordinate system, and the computer will figure out how to transform it and move it across. So I can transform data and put data in my new drawing and I'm ready to set up a new M view and inside that M view I can zoom it to some kind of a scale zoom 1 over 200 XP there's 200 scale once I set it 200 scale I want to lock my M view Lock view, display locked, and I want it to be on the M view layer. Scroll to the bottom, up a little bit, M view. Um, my attributes, uh, D D A T T E, dynamic dialogue attribute editor. I just set it at 200, so 200, 200, 400, 600. 200 foot tick. Okay. Um, I really should have an ortho arrow. I like to go into model space and insert my north arrow from here. Browse. Let me go to my CAD tools folder. C drive. CAD tools. 
let's see what I have under north. Well, I'm in. Oh, no north arrows? Let me go to my G drive. I know I put it somewhere. 2018 CAD class, CAD tools, uh, North Arrow, bingo. Now, I'm going to put this on the screen and I'm going to scale it 200 times because I determined that 200 scale was what I planned to print. So that North Arrow needs to be scaled up. And I'll just stick it in the middle here somewhere. When I go back to my D size, that north arrow appears. And it's the right size because I scaled it 200 times. Okay. I think we're done with this lab. Have a good one. Bye-bye.